instruction, the mantra should not be at the mouth or in the head. Whenever I note something, it appears in my head as a thought. When I'm tired, I'm thinking, tired, tired, tired. Is this important? Thank you. Well, when you, when you get better at it, the thought is, is really in the object. Um, the head and thinking is, is usually a product of, of people who are accustomed to thinking a lot. And so when given this sort of exercise, the mind's only way of, of the untrained mind's only way of, of uh, implementing it is to create it as a thought in the head. I mean, when I started, I was actually seeing the words like they were pasted to the inside of my forehead and getting headaches. Part of why people think it's in the head is because in the beginning they often get tension in the head from, from forcing themselves to be with the object. And so they, they confuse that with the actual acknowledgement. They think I'm acknowledging in my head, but they're not. They're, um, the head is just giving rise to tension or exhibiting tension as a result of the person's uh, tense, forceful, controlling mind state. Uh, but, but it's all just a, a matter of um, lack of proficiency. Once you get better at it, the thoughts themselves become natural, become a part of the experience. So it's just experiencing it as it is. It's uh, it, it, the tone is is different, and it, it's like as though you're saying it in your head, or say, yeah, saying it in your foot, or saying it in your stomach. The only time it should be in the head is when you're acknowledging pain or aching or tension or feeling and so on in the head. <laughs> 